This way. The no, doors wait. to the ministry moment, will be opening in a few seconds' time. Yes, and we're kicking off with Rugrats all grown up for you, and there's a thief on the loose. Find out what that's all about. Not only that, we've got an exclusive birthday competition where you could come here to the ministry to join us and join the boys. Remember, mum's, mum's the, the word. Right. In a bit. Yeah, come on, everyone. Right. Hurry along. Bye. Come on. this morning. We start the morning off with Rugrats all grown up and this week there's a thief on the loose. Find out who's being a little light fingered in a few seconds time. At 10.25 this morning we go to the seabed to drop in on the one and only Spongebob Squarepants. Then at 10.45 and 11 o'clock we've got another heavenly episode of Teen Angel for you. Hey, look. Yeah, easy Holly. Michelle McManus returns to the ministry this morning. She'll be performing her new single and taking pain for your gain in what hurts. We keep them busy here, you know. We certainly do, and getting stuck into the mayhem all the way from Ireland, the beautiful new girl group, Bellfire. They're here to play Cakey Skate and give us a sneaky peek at their new video. Anything could happen in the next two hours right here on the Ministry of Mayhem! Gorgeous, oh, you're so lovely. I love you. I just want to kiss you. Uh, hang on, Holly. Uh, what? What have you done? They can't see us now. Wipe it off. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, that's, well, that's made it even worse, isn't it? Huh? But I can see you now. Good morning. How you doing? I'm Stephen. Can I say good morning to the ministry workers? You can. Well, I will. Good morning to the ministry workers. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And I'm Michael, and I tell you what, we couldn't start here in the ministry without saying a massive good morning to the ministry agents. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha, indeed! And and now, oh, what's that? please welcome, live at the Ministry of Mayhem, yes, he's the head of security, the one, the only, Raymond! Stop it! Oi, 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 oi! Stop it! Morning, Ray. Morning, all. On your way to security? Yep. Not building your part at all here? Don't think so. No, later, Ray. Later. Later, Ray. Uh, now then, here's something that you can later. truly get excited for. It is the first part of Rugrats All Grown Up. Yes. Now, if you enjoyed that and you want to find out what's next... Thank you. Well, they're very excitable this morning. <laughs> uh, now, if you enjoyed that and you want to see the second part, you can in under 10 minutes' time. Now, listen, I've just had confirmation that our guests have arrived in the ministry. Please give it up for Belfire and Michelle McManus! It's lovely to have girlies here. Now, you've actually been here twice before now, and you've also been on the first show, so that's yeah. sweet. That is a record, but... You can't get rid of me, though, that's okay. <laughs> We wouldn't want to, but you've got off pretty lightly in the past, I have to say. Apart from... I've, uh, I think I've got a few things in store today. Like, what hurts? Oh, she doesn't look too happy about that. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> also, also, we've got some brand new guests across the ministry. It's Belfire Girls. It's lovely to see you. Welcome to the ministry. Now, I've got to say, three things you don't know about Belfire. How about this? Louis Walsh is their manager, number one. Number two, they're currently touring with Westlife. And get this, they were number one in the Irish airplay charts. Now, I'm just checking. Is that true? All oh, true? God. Well yeah. impressed. Oh, you <laughs> see? Now, as you know, when we have guests here in the ministry, they don't get off lightly, and Belfire are no exception. Uh, Kathy and Kelly are going to be playing cakey skating under five minutes' time. I've got to say, have you brought a change of clothes, <laughs> girls? Yeah. 
<laughs> you're gonna Busy need one. it. It's a little bit messy. You're looking so beautiful as well, but oh. you probably look nice with a bit of cake on you. <laughs> and, uh, and before you think you've got a flightly as well, Kira, she's in massive trouble because she's gonna be playing What Hurts against Michelle, and that should be very interesting. Have you been told about this? I got the short straw, I think, <laughs> but I'm ready. Bring it on. I like tough. Yeah. Tough girl. Oh, yeah, the yeah. lovely <laughs> fragrance of our lovely ladies. <laughs> they are very lovely as well, and they smell beautiful. Can we have a hoo ha from the agents for our beautiful guests, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, you've made them blush, you see. You really have. And this is still to come this morning. We've got part two of Rugrats All Grown Up. Will Tommy be in trouble? Find out very soon. As well as that SpongeBob with those square pants is going to be here just for you. Oh, we nearly got it then. <laughs> you might want to prepare yourself. Steve's wearing yellow spandex. It's very disturbing. Find out why in Teen Angel. Oh, yes, also don't forget the Keggy Skate is on its way. Um, and remember, Michelle. Mum's the word. <laughs> And I've just noticed these agents that you see all around the ministry, they're actually not allowed to smile. It's a part of their job, it's official. And have a look at this one, have a look at that. He's never smiling, is he? Come on, are you gonna smile? Are you gonna <laughs> you're going, is he gonna giggle? Go on, go on. Hey! You're in trouble, you are. All right, part two of All Grown Up is on its way, but now it's over Kinky Skates! <laughs> It's the celebrity challenge that does exactly what it says on the cake tin. The higher the celebrities can catapult a cake up a wall, the bigger star they are here in the ministry. Now, of course, we've got the skateboards just here. We've also got a wall of death by chocolate covered in the cream and the sponge and the jam from our past celebrities. Now all we need are the cakes, and here's Holly with her trolley. <laughs> Thank you very much, good, Agent. Good, good. It looks fairly full. What cakes have you got today? Well, I have some very special cakes today. I have this cake, which is, of course, a cherry cake, which is a lovely cake there. Um, and then I have this cake here, which is a raspberry cake. Right. And it's got lots of cream and nuts on it, which is very nice. And I have this cake, which is a particularly special cake, because actually, if you read it, it says, Happy birthday, Stephen, because it's your birthday tomorrow. It is. So, Stephen, mm. you know what happens with birthday cakes, <laughs> don't you? Well, you got Happy it, Mrs. She really hurt. Happy Thank birthday, you for that. darling. Thank you. Anytime. I'll, I'll give you one back later. Now, <laughs> let me tell you, we now need the celebrities. We certainly do. And we do have them here in the ministry, all the way from Ireland. It is the lovely girls from Belfire! <laughs> Kelly here, you're going to be playing. You need to beat Lord Charles Brockett. Now, he's way past four metres, all right? So it's quite a hard one. Are you feeling confident? Mm, we've got the luck of the Irish behind us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm Good a little shot. bit confused because what, what was the name of your group again? Bell, Bell, what? what? Fire. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'm oh. You've got something wrong with you tonight. Fire this morning. <laughs> Somebody stop me. Oh, look at the old oh, ladies. Do you, know some, do you know you still look lovely, all right? Now, Kathy, you are up first, all right? I'm sorry. Kathy, you're up first. Good luck to you. Holly, what cake can you recommend? She's never going to trust me again, is she? Kathy, uh -huh. this is the cake I recommend to you because, as we know, bell fire. Fire is hot, so I recommend this cake right here, which is a hot cross butt cake. Uh -huh. Okay, well, Kathy, don't make up your mind yet. What do you think at home? What do you think? Should Kathy have that hot cross bun or should she not? What do we think here in the ministry? Yes, they say no, they say no, but Kathy, what do you say? I'm gonna go with this one. You are? Yeah. Okay, good girl. Wow, she still Now, do you want small, medium or large? I go for the medium. You go for the medium? Yeah. Pop it down on the medium, that's it. Lovely stuff, excellent. Now, will, will she get it higher than Lord Brockett? What do you think? Will she get it higher or lower than Lord Brockett? Yeah. They say higher. There's only one way to find out. Okay. A big build-up, she's gonna have a run-up. Here we go. Oh! Ridiculous. Okay, how high? How high? She got it 1.4 meters. 1.4. One I the cheeky girls. You beat this one of the cheeky yeah. girls. Yes, you did. Listen, congratulations. 1.4 meters. The reason no one's clapping is because it wasn't very good. But give her a cheer <laughs> anyway. Go on, there we are. Off you go, Kathy. Thanking you.
Kelly. Okay, you are up next, Kelly. Good luck. All right, Holly, which one can you recommend? Well, Kira, I recommend for you this cake right here. Now, this is a very special cake because bell fire. I've taken the bell. Where do you normally find bells? Well, of course, at a wedding. So this is a wedding cake I for can, Kelly. I can well, see where you're going there. Don't make up your mind yet, Kelly. What do you think? Should she have that one? Yes or no? What do you think at home? Should she have Again. So do you or do you not take that cake? I don't think there'll be any bells for this bell. Not wedding bells, anyway. So, so she's not going to take else. it. So yeah. pick your own. Which one do you want? Ooh, how about, which one do you want? How about this one here? Oh, that's Love nice. That nice and cream. Looks Can you get it, Ollie? Oh. There we go. An orange cake. Oh, yes. Very apt. <laughs> yes, all right. <laughs> so do you want it small, <laughs> medium or large? I'm going to go with the medium. I feel lucky. It's had a bad day so far. So OK, you, you put it down there. Kelly's very confident. I like this. But what do we think? Will she get it higher or lower than Lord Brocken? Lower! What do we think? Lower! OK, a big build-up. Oh, three, two, one, go! Oh, what on earth is that? Look at this. Hang on. There's, there's no point in taking a bow. Look, it didn't go anywhere, did it? That's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Which, can you believe this? That... Where are you? Come here. Look, only at 1.4 metres. Kathy's the biggest star in the ministry. Yeah. There you are. So how about that? Now, listen, Kegis Kate, it is a tricky game to play, as you just found out with these two. <laughs> and also, Bruno, <laughs> better known as Todd from Coronation Street, will explain why you've got to be careful. Take it over. Hi, I'm Bruno Langley from Coronation Street. Please, don't play Cakey Skate at home. You won't have the fixed axle bracket, so don't even bother. Ride skateboards and eat cake. Don't mix and match. All right. Thank you, Todd, from Coronation Street there. We're now joined by the rest of Belfire. Now, listen, what, how do you think they did, Kira? Looking good, I think. They're looking good. Yeah, oh, new look tasty. all of that in your hair. Now, listen, why don't you do what you do best and introduce your brand new video to your brand new single? Well, we're Belfire, and this is our new single. This is our video for our new single, Say Something Anyway. There we go. Do you know what those lovely Irish girls, they scrub up well, don't they? Now, follow me in here. I'm heading into the Ministry Archive because it's time for the second part of Rugrats All Grown Up. Now, if you missed the first part, basically, loads of garden gnomes have been stolen and no one knows who's taken them. Hang on, where's the tape? Hang on a second. It's in here somewhere. Ah, I've got it. Don't panic. Here we are. Oh. <laughs> OK, let's move straight on. Here it is, just for you. It's Rugrats All Grown Up, part two. Today in the Ministry of Mayhem, we have got Michelle Mamana. She's going to be performing a new single. Yes, she is. Yep, not only that, we've also got another episode of SpongeBob and, of course, this. It's Teen Angel. By the awesome power of heaven, I give you an invisible wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, heavenly wedgie, you can't beat and find out what that's all about very, very soon. And remember... Mom's, Mom's the, the word. word. Welcome back to the ministry. Now, still to come this morning, we've got What Hurts and poor old Michelle and Kira from Belfire. They are going to be playing the game, suffering the pain for your game. Well, that is absolutely <laughs> right. Now, Michelle, we had Sam and Mark, your friends on here. They actually played What Hurts. Have they given you any tips for those chairs? Well, it was Mark, and um, he, he said he was kind of walking funny afterwards, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that, that was obviously the chair. Oh, my goodness, mm. Kira, after yeah. hearing that... <laughs> I, I think I've changed my mind. Have you? Yeah. Oh, no. Well, no. listen, you can't change your mind because we <laughs> are late. definitely playing what hurts a little bit later on and we've got some fantastic prizes up for grabs today they're so fantastic we put them in prize heaven can i get my telescope please? of course you can uh, there you go thank you very much let's take a look yes all the way up in prize heaven the teeny tiny angels have been working their fingers to the bone to create a dvd player and also not one but two doctor's use dvds and it's all for you beautiful prizes there they could be all yours honey you've got a little uh... what what is it do you know what, it's nothing. Uh, now, to win those prizes, you have to be the winner of What Hurts, but first you need to qualify, and this is the question. Which celebrity couple photographed last Sunday on a family shopping trip? Any ideas? Well, luckily for you, we managed to get our hands some footage from the archives. Take a look. Oh, Pete, darling, do you think we should go and get a tea or coffee or something? Hey, if you put, like, tea and coffee together, you get toffee. Pete, that is amazing. Did you just make that up? Uh, that is, like, insane here all over again. Isn't he brilliant, baby Harvey? Well, did, 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 Sam, 
patronise me, mother, just because your bra size is bigger than your brain. Honestly, besides, that reminds me, I'm hungry. Wow, he can talk well. Talking well, you can tell. Yeah, yeah, and I can tell, Peter. Listen, baby Harvey, who's the best mummy in the world? Who's the best mummy in the world? Who's the best mummy in the world? You are. Yes. Like best and mum, you get bum. Peter, yeah, you know what? You're terrific and incredible. Terrific and incredible? <laughs> I'm terrible. And I think we'll all agree with that. You know what I mean? Now, I'm hungry. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, so uh, do you know who that celebrity couple was? Was it A, Posh and Bex, B, Jordan and Peter Andre, or C, Charlotte and Church? Now, come on, you must know. It's an easy one. Uh, loads of ways of getting in touch with us. I'm not going to tell you about it. Ray, do us a favour. Follow me up the stairs. Here we go, Tina and Gina. This way, past the doors, of course. Hello, Tina. Hello, Gina. This way. Ray! Not this show, oh, Stephen! I wasn't going to do anything! Ray, don't touch me here! I touch my life! Ray, please, not me face! Too late! <laughs> Follow me. Ladies. Hi, Ray. You I managed to get up here without being polite. I did, ladies, because I'm like a coral spring, ready for anything. <gasps> Bye, ladies. <laughs> Thank you. If you know the answer to our What Hurts question, phone us on 09013 800 830. That's 09013 800 830. Or if you've got a mobile, text WHAT plus ABLC and your name to 83000. That's 83000. Or you can email us at mom at idv.com. That's mom at idv.com. Nice work, ladies. I taught them everything they know. But now it's time for the Ministry of Mayhem corridors to be filled with the sound of music. And this lady's new single is called The Meaning of Love. Which, um, dictionary? Well, according to the dictionary, it's an intense emotional attachment for a pet or treasured object. OK, fair enough. Well, let's hear what she has to say about it. It's Michelle McManus! <laughs> The very lovely Michelle McManus. Make sure you stick around because she's going to be playing What Hurts a bit later on. Going through pain for all your gain. Yeah. Now it's time to uh, to read a bit of your mouth. This is a poster, by the way. This way, all the stuff gets sent in. Let's go for this one here. Can you let go, please? Get off! Thank you. There we go. You're going to kick. Off. Yeah. Nice one. Um, listen, we had so much stuff coming in. Thank you so much if you've been sending things in. I know over the last couple of weeks we were asking you to send in hands. Would you calm it down? Honestly, <laughs> we were asking you to send some weird stuff in. Now I've had a fantastic letter. You'll like this one. This one has been sent in by Matthew Shire. Matthew, thank you very much for this. He was basically just wandering around in the park and he found a piece of wood in a funny shape. So try and think, piece of wood in a funny shape. I was thinking, what could it be? What could it be? Digging around, he sent us a piece of wood in the shape of a gun. That's amazing. Does it work? It's a piece of wood in the shape of a gun. Right there. <laughs> should, should I try it though? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. I think I proved a point. Yeah, I think you do. I have to say something. If you find something weird, please send it in, because we love looking at them, don't we? And yes, I promise you, we do look at every single thing that does come in. We'll give you the address in a couple of seconds now. Now then, do you remember last week we showed you the screenplay that Sarah Weller had sent in to us? It was absolutely amazing. We recreated it and turned it into a film. Well, if you did miss it, just take a look. It's a little recap of what we did. Basically, I was walking along the beach, dreaming of Peter Andre, my dream lover, when there was a jellyfish that stung me and I passed out on the floor. I woke up to find Stephen and Michael singing, and then Stephen kissed me to revive me. Yeah, mm. Well, you kiss me, actually. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Well, basically, we want you to get more of these in. Absolutely more. Yeah, loads of you have been sending lots of your thoughts of how it should continue, but we need even more. Yeah, because what happened next? I mean, I'm on the edge of my seat. So am I. So here's the deal. You get to decide what happens next. It's that simple. It's all down to you. So write the next part of the story and send it in to us. I'll tell you why. Because if you're the chosen author, you could get a DVD player similar to this Ooh. one. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Look at that. 
Very nice too. So guys, get any of your pictures, your emails, your screenplays into us here at the Ministry. And this is the address you need. It is, of course, the Ministry of Mayhem, PO Box 981ME14 5XE. Or if you've got a computer and you want to email us, remember you can always do that. It's mom at itv.com. Well, I'll still be out there, but there we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, moving right on. Still to come here in the Ministry of Mayhem, make sure you stay watching because SpongeBob is up in about five minutes' time. Not only that, you want to see this, it's Kira from Belfire and Michelle playing what hurts. And and the doctor's going to be here doing more experiments. Mum's a bird. <laughs> the Ministry of Mayhem. I hope you're having a good morning. Hey, still to come, we've got SpongeBob and also Teen Angel. But now, let's see what the doc's up to. Hello, Doc. How are you doing? Ah, oh, Steve. Hi, Fum. Hi, <laughs> It's good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, I was just thinking about you this morning as I was tucking into my tasty liverwurst. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm spoofing you off. You know, I always have bratwurst for breakfast. No, <laughs> that would be without a laugh, eh? Yeah, Germany, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, come on. not funny. <laughs> OK, listen, what have you been up to? You know, this week in my laboratory, I have been looking into the power of carbon dioxide gas. <laughs> yeah, now, strictly speaking, that is gas, but it's only me saying gas. Now, but thank you for your contributions to science as ever. Listen, to demonstrate the power of carbon dioxide gas this morning, I'm going to attempt to turn this bottle into a cannon to fire this cork up here, smashing this tile to smithereens, oh. like your British battleships. <laughs> 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 but to do this, you know, I need the help of a fruit. Now, you know lots of fruits, don't you, Stephen? Do I? You do, yeah. Which fruit do you think would be most useful to make a rocket? Um... Use your head. Use my head. Not your face. <laughs> oh, orange! It's an orange! <laughs> no, it's a lemon. Oh. But, you know, to help me out, I need the help of my beautiful assistant. It's only Michelle McManus. Oh, lovely, it's Michelle! <laughs> You're always welcome. Oh. Now, ladies, carbon dioxide is a very powerful <laughs> gas, so please be putting on your protective goggles. OK. Now, I can't use these ones because they mess my hair up, OK? <laughs> OK, here we are now. Michelle, I would like you to take the juice of the lemon, OK? Stephen, you hold my cork, OK? There we are. Now, Michelle, you place the lemon juice into the bottle here, OK? There's a little more warm water in the bottom, and a little bit of lemon juice. OK, that's beautiful. Now, I am going to take one piece of lavatory paper from your dressing room, Stephen, one of the few clean pieces I found there. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to place on this a teaspoon oh. of bicarbonate of soda, OK? I'm going to roll that up in a little package, like so. Now, Stephen, get yourself ready. Okay. Because when I put my package in the bottle, I want you to jam the cork in as quick as you can after, OK? okay. Here we go. It's going in. <laughs> oh, now push the cord again, quick. Okay. Quick, okay. <laughs> now, oh. now, quick shake. Now stand well back. What? Ah, there it goes! Ah, hey! <laughs> you see? The tile is smashed! <laughs> it is totally fucked! The science is proven! High fun! What? High fun, Michelle! Fantastic! Hi. That's superb! It's fantastic, isn't it? Can oh. we see a rewind? No, uh, no, no! no. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> Michelle! Yeah. You're always welcome in my lab! Yeah, thank you! Bye! Bye. Oh, we Dude. like this show. Oh, that was oh, great, though. It's a fantastic thing, isn't it? But, you know, I love this part of the show, you know, where we have had the experience, it's calmed down, and then you get funny with me. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, yeah, OK. Go. You like this one. OK, why did the germ cross the microscope? The germ cross the microscope? I don't know. <laughs> to get to the other slide. To get to the other slide? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the funniest joke I've ever heard. I nearly put my popo. I must go. Tschüss. Tschüss. Now, we'll be back in the lab with the doctor next week for more experiments. And SpongeBob's coming up now, so you know what that means. Hang on a second. <coughs> oh, do you know what? This thing never gives me the notes I want. <coughs> oh, you see, now you're talking. <clears throat> oh! <coughs> SpongeBob. SpongeBob will return next week, but still to come today, we've got Teen Angel, which we do love here at the Ministry. But something you guys are going to love is our new busted <laughs> pom 
competition. Oh, yes. Busted are going to be here oh, in, the... <laughs> in the Ministry of Mayhem in about two weeks' time. And one of you will get to come down here to the Ministry with one of your friends and meet the Busted. Oh, no! Boys themselves. Yes, but for you and a mate to get that opportunity, <laughs> you're going to have to answer this question. Now, in a second, we're going to show you a clip of Air Hostess, their brand new single, OK, that's released very, very soon. Now, the question you need to answer is, what colour is James's guitar? Now, it may sound really easy, but you only see his guitar for a couple of seconds, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled. Are you ready? OK, here it is. Now, if you just watched that and you were going, which one's James? Clearly, you're not a true Busted fan. But if you do know the answer, you and a mate could be here in the ministry to meet the boys. There's two ways to get in touch, and Tina and Jean have the details. Thanks, Michael. Phone us on 09013 800 830. That's 09013 800 830. Or if you've got a mobile, text Busted, plus your answer and your name to 83000. That's 83000. Thank you. No. Oh, yes. Yeah. So good luck if you're entering that competition. Drew, over here. Come over here, look. We'll good luck to you to entering that. Uh, we'll be telling the winners in a few weeks' time. Absolutely. Still to come, we've got Teen Angel. As well as that, Kira and Michelle are going to be playing What Hurts. It's their pain for your gain. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to it's that. It's going to be good. Certainly. And remember, Mom's the word. Excited because we've got some lovely ladies to play with me today. Now, um, Kira, how are you feeling now? You're actually here. Are you ready? I'm ready. She's ready. She sounds confident. Michelle, are you feeling as confident? I'm so not ready <laughs> at all for this game. Well, you don't really have much of a choice because we no. are definitely ready. So here we go. In order to play What Hurts Today, you had to answer this qualifying question. It was, of course, which celebrity couple have recently been seen out and about acting a proper happy family? The answer was, of course, Peter, Andre and Jordan. So, ladies, who have we got on the line that got that right? On line one, we've got Catherine from Lincolnshire. Good morning to you, Catherine. How are you this morning? I'm fine, thanks. Good. Welcome to the Ministry. We're going to try and win you some prizes, so stick on the line, OK? OK. All righty then. Ladies, who's on line two? On line two, we've got Holly from Glen Ross. Holly, what a wicked name. Hello. Hiya. Welcome to the Ministry. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. Cool. Well, listen, we're going to try and win you some prizes too, so this is what's going to happen. Now, Catherine, you got through on the lines first, so you get to choose who represents you in the What Hurt seat. Is it going to be Michelle or is it going to be Kira? Um, Michelle, please. Michelle, take a seat just there, which means, Holly, you're playing with Kira today. Kira, take cool. a seat. Brilliant. So, oh, it's all girls playing today. Brilliant. Now, listen, girls, this is what is going to happen. I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock for you. In that time, you need to answer as many questions as you possibly can. Now, for every question that you get right, you'll win yourself a PowerPoint, which is a good thing, because PowerPoints means prizes, and this is the prize that's up for grabs today in prize heaven. Let's have a look all the way through the golden gates. We have got a DVD player and not one, but two Dr. Zeus DVDs. So those prizes are pretty great. Guys on the lines, would you like to win those prizes? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, so um, here we go. This is all going to happen. Remember, Catherine, you're going first. Let's play What Hurts. OK, good luck, Catherine. Good luck, Michelle. Here goes. Six seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. Which Hollywood actor recently became the governor of California? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Correct. Which animals in the... What animal is the film Jaws about? Shark. Correct. What are the names of David and Victoria Beckham's children? Brooklyn and Romeo. Well done. Which, which football team does Michael Owen play for? Liverpool. Correct. What is the name of the person who leads an orchestra? Maestro. It's not. It's a conductor. Sorry, Michelle. Does that hurt? <laughs> yes, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Ready? L.A. is short for which city in America? Los Angeles. Correct. How many five pences do you get in a pound? Twenty. Yes. What is a vixen? A uh, fox. Correct. What are the colours of the flag of the United Kingdom? Blue, white and red. Correct. What is a one-wheeled bicycle called? Barbie. Penny. No, you're wrong, I'm afraid. Sorry, Michelle. Oh, she was quick off that seat then. Well done, Catherine. You got a top Good score one. there. You got eight power points. That is fantastic. You're sitting pretty at the moment, but let's see if Holly can do any better. Holly. Yeah. Now listen. You got eight to beat. Do you reckon you can do that? 
Oh, I don't know. <laughs> confidence, my darling, confidence. OK, listen, yeah. you are playing with Kira. So Come 60 on, seconds on the clock. Good luck to the pair of you. Your time starts now. Complete the following phrase. Red sky at night. Blue sky in the morning. No, it's oh, Shepherd's no. Delight. Sorry. <laughs> oh. OK, in which US city could you find the Golden Gate Bridge? Oh, I don't know what's going. It's San Francisco. Sorry, ah! Kira. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is the name of the liquid that flows from a volcano? Lava. Correct. Ooh. What type of animal is a tarantula? A spider. Correct. How many years in a millennium? A hundred. Thousand. No, it's a thousand. Oh! I'm afraid <laughs> you would take a first answer. Sorry, Kira. Oh. Which film features a tin man, a scarecrow, and a lion? Um, well, why in the match in the wardrobe? No! No! Oh, oh, oh she's done something great. OK, which kind of fruit is supposed to keep the doctor away? Sorry? What type of fruit is supposed to keep An the apple. doctor away? Correct! What do the rings on tree trunks show? That is it. Oh, I'm afraid you were too late. It was actually the age of the tree. Listen, how many power points did you get? You got three power points. Listen, Holly, that's not going to be enough to win you today. But listen, let's give it up for Holly Fee. Great contestant. Now then, Catherine, on the other hand, you've got through round one. You have that DVD player and you also have the DVDs. Now, you could just walk away with that or you could gamble and you could get your hands on this prize as well. Let's have a look in prize heaven and see what the gambling prize is. Let's take a look. It's up there in the golden gates of heaven. It's an Oz Boz electric scooter. Not just any normal scooter, it's electric. That's a nice prize, isn't it, Catherine? Yeah. OK, listen, this is what's going to happen. In my hand, right here, I have a question. Now, if this question's answered correctly, you walk away with the lot. If it's answered incorrectly, you get nothing. Now, it's not you that answers this question. It's one of these two here sitting either side of me. So it's not down to you. Basically, what do we reckon in the ministry today? Should she gamble? Yeah! What are you going to do, Catherine? Gamble. Yes! The girl is going to gamble. OK, I can tell you that this question is about Eskimos. OK? Now, who would you like to answer this question for you? Who do you think has got the best Eskimo knowledge? <laughs> Michelle or Kira? Who's it going to be? Michelle. Michelle. OK, Michelle, I'm going to remind you now that if you get this question wrong, Catherine gets nothing at all, so the pressure is on. Good luck, Catherine. Good luck, Michelle. Here we go. Where do Eskimos wear muck looks? Is it on their feet or on their heads? Her feet. Catherine, she's saying it's on her feet. And I'm really sorry. She's correct! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Catherine, well done to you. That means you get the DVD player, you also get that scooter. How fantastic is that? That's amazing. Yeah, do you want to well say thank fine. you to Michelle? Well done, Boo. Oh. Listen, everybody, let's give a big cheer for Catherine Stay. Yeah. Well done. Super. I enjoyed that. You enjoyed that, didn't you, Mick? <laughs> yeah, I did Stevie Baby. Stevie. <laughs> OK, now it is time. He hates being called Mick, by the way. Yeah, and I don't like good. Stevie, so there we go. Um, now, it is now time for the first part of um, Teenager. Hey, do the wings, it's funny. No, I haven't got my big hands with me. No, oh, oh, I see what, though? God. I've got my big feet. Grab me ankles. Oh, they are big. Oh, oh steady, oh. Eddie. Oh. Here's part one of Teenage Mutant. How are you doing that? Don't ask. <laughs> Our Teen Angel is coming up very shortly. That's your favourite show, isn't it, Doc? That's totally fact. All of that coming up. So your bike. So is your bike. All of that coming up in the final part of the Ministry of Mayhem. Remember, mum's <laughs> the this female just in from Johnny and Baz. Good morning to you, Felicis. Can you please do it comes your security guard? That's obviously Ray. Your wishes are command. Can you source it, please, fellas? That's it. No! Oh, that's harsh. I don't like that. Uh, now, CD UK normally follows the ministry on a Saturday morning. Not this week, though, because of the footy. It's on at 3.45 on ITV1 this afternoon. But it's definitely worth sticking around for us. So, Kat, what have you got for us? Tune in to CD UK at the later time of 3.45 this afternoon for Busted, Bellfire, Scissor Sisters, Snow Patrol, The Calling and McFly. We join Daniel Beddingfield's sister, Natasha, on the set of her first video. Plus, we have an awesome competition to meet Eminem. Keep it here. Oh, that is definitely worth sticking around for, but now it's time for...
of a teen angel? Yeah, now, if you missed the first part, don't worry. Basically, Marty helps Steve blag his way onto the school wrestling team. But as usual, Marty's causing more trouble. But let's find out what happens. Oh, I tell you what, guys, it's flying like it's a bit of a giggle, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what are you doing? You can't stop flapping. See? What? Oh, great! Whoa! <laughs> now, you see, that is going to leave a grace. Yeah. It's Teen Angel. thing to say, but I really hate this part of the morning. Why is that? Because that happened. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what, though? That's not kind of where it ends, because I've just had this email in from Catherine and James. It says, I know it's Stephen's birthday, but can he go in the gun tank as he's never been in before? <laughs> what do you reckon? Would you like that? Well, the thing is, chances are that Catherine and James haven't been in the gun tank either. Ah, but the thing is, they're not here, yeah. and you are. And it's your birthday, too. Yeah, oh, and besides, you might, you might get away with it, remember? Possibly. Possibly. I think he's got to go in. Uh, stick around. In a few seconds' time, we really will be gunging Mr Stephen Mulhern hopefully here in the ministry. Uh, and I've got to tell you this, next week we've got so much to squeeze into the show that I don't think I can even tell you about it. Oh, maybe I will tell you about it. No, just have a look at this instead. The Rugrats return in another All Grown Up. As solid and dependable as a sponge could ever be, SpongeBob will also be here. And there'll be more angelic adventures with Teen Angel. Also paying us a visit here in the ministry next week, Big Brothers will be performing their latest single. And what about this superstar, Hilary Duff, also known as Lizzie McGuire, is coming into the ministry especially to see me. And me. No, she isn't. Yes, yeah, she is. Isn't. Is. Actually, boy, she's coming to see me, so make sure you don't miss her right here in the ministry next week. Listen, listen, now, I just want you to know, Lizzie McGuire is coming in to see me. Me. Yeah, no, me. Boys. Coming in to see me, she's a girl's girl. What do you mean she's a girl? Leave it, all right? I've got to tell you, I can't even wait to see Liz and next week. I need to get this. I'm going to make like a tortoise, and I'm just going to sleep for the entire week. Michael, where are you going? Well, if I'm going to make like a tortoise, I need Michelle! Love it! Thanks, nice so forward slash CITV.